Hi, my name is Ian Fursa, and welcome to the VP Toolkit workflow series. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the VP Toolkit plugin once you've already had a setup and display config. So if you've been following along with this series, you'll have this project open. Uh, if not, just close whatever project that you are working on. Once you've downloaded and unzipped uh, your plugin, you should have this folder here, which is the plugin folder. And so I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to go to my project that I was working in, set up to, and then I'm going to create a new folder and name it plugins. And then I'm going to add this to the project plugin folder. This is how you add uh, any plugin to a project as its project base. I like to work this way because if you're doing with multiple nodes, uh, then your all of your settings and everything that you want to live within your plugin uh, can be copied and pasted and duplicated uh, so that you don't have conflicting issues if you're running it as an engine plugin. So now that that is in there, we can reopen our project. So once your project opens, uh, and if you've been following along, your project will look like this. Uh, you want to go to your config that you've already set up, and you're going to click on class settings, and then go over to parent class and search for VPT, and you'll see the re VPT root config. And then so select that, and that will enable all of the uh, components for the plugin in your config. And then I generally like to go to my in-camera VFX and just make sure that my references are still connected. But this should be good. We just need to go to a content browser. In the content browser, go to the folder there and then change go to the VP toolkit concept kit content. So first I'm going to just remove the end display stage level out. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag and I'm going to open up stages. I'm going to drag that over to stages and say move here. And then I'm going to go to end display config and then drag my end display config over there. Go move here. Once you move the end display config over to the plugin folder, you're going to want to make sure that you go back into your config and go to export and then just re-export out your, your config and save over that one. Just so when you load that into switchboard, it knows that uh, we've changed its location to the plugin folder. And then now I'm going to go back to stages and I'm going to drag the stage into the level uh, window and then set it to always loaded. So now we are back to exactly how we were, but now we're, we're loading everything from that plugin folder. So when we grab this plugin folder to open up our next project, we already have everything all set up and all we have to do is put it into the project and then drag this level in and you're pretty much ready to go. So next we're going to run the widget panels, which are the main UI interface for all of the features in uh, the toolkit. If you go to VP toolkit concept kit content and then go to widgets and then you'll see uh, the first widget and the stage widget here. I'm going to run the first widget and I will run the stage widget. So uh, they automatically popped into this configuration that you see here. If yours will probably not do that, it'll probably just open up. So normally I put it above the viewport and then I put it to the right of the viewport and it will go into uh, that setup that I already had running. And that's how to enable and run the basic functionality of the VP toolkit. These will now work. 
thank you for watching. And if you've liked this video and would like to see more content, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.